Hey folks, this will be a long one today. We're just going to go straight into these matches because they are going to take a bit of time here. So, I'm sorry about yesterday. I've been so busy and I'm just going to rush through all these battles as quick as I can just to keep them uploaded for you. Um, I'm probably not going to do too much faster than them they are just complete stomps. Um, but yeah, this is a movie that we've actually opening up right here. I have so much I have to do today, so I'm even rushing just to get these videos up. If that comes out there by me, just to avoid the double uh, attack bases of these uh, two opponents here. So if that comes out here, this time out really well, which means that I mean, you know, these Pokemon are not EV in any way, shape, or form. Also, when Dragon Balls comes out on Clef Key, that was ridiculous. Spur goes off on the uh, least running because he has uh, special abilities, so uh, yeah, he gets a bit delayed. Uh, Fero is allowed to free roam with a minute, but that's no different because I'm doing much damage anyway right here. So, Thunderwave goes off on the hero anyway, just to keep it in check, and um, yeah, there's basically not much else to say about this game. He even has a level 45 in here, which is a shame. Uh, I know he has a one attack there, which is kind of cool, he's still sleeping. So, I just go ahead with the Thunderwave, because I'm going to pop the can on this thing. Uh, it goes down by quite a bit, I get a critical hit, which is kind of cool. And um, at this point, we're just sort of waiting around for... Uh, yeah, the hero avoids the attack right there. He also makes up close for Dragon Pulse again. All the uh, is basically laughable damage right there. Absolutely nothing. Sudron comes out and takes out the Haxorus, and that makes it quite easy. Uh, an easy knockout there on Haxorus. So, and the hero does get paralyzed. You know that right there. And here comes the level 45 sound as it comes out. I just go the metal side onto the uh, sound and immediately take it out. I didn't realize it was level 45, by the way, here. I just assumed that the, the fear was paralyzed. So I um, I just went straight for sound slash. Fear wasn't doing enough damage anyway, and you never know that I've thought an EV Pokemon or something. So I think with the Giga Dream with that metal sound, it's going to fully take my time out in one hit because it was level 45 as well. So there's absolutely no chance of survival right there for sound slash. So I just does fall right there, and the last Pokemon is going to come out. Paralyzed again right there. I, I it, it's kind of important where even if this guy was pretty good, I don't think he would have got anywhere because he's getting all the paralyzed action being put on my side right here. Black Sunday Hilly is a little bit more. Silgon is gonna come out from him. Dragon Poison is super effective, however, Silgon is a special defensive Pokemon. I go ahead with my metal sign once again just to weaken that and I will go for the Silgon combo which is very right after. Uh, Silgon is gonna go ahead with Thousand Gleam right here, which is gonna be absolutely not the most my Pokemon. The reflect is up for the light speed is up from what I remember as well. It just doesn't do anything that's not effective on either of them. Silgon comes out with a plus two uh, negative sign so and negative two special defense. It's gonna just barely allow it to survive right here. Just, uh, special defense is going to be Still when comes out does nothing because he reflects and gets defensive and doesn't get stopped for that. The Sandstream is going to take out Sylvian right there with about well ease and then the Fear is just left to go. Sandstorm is going to do a little bit of damage to both of the Pokemon right here. That's how you're doing healing. Reflect does fall this turn, uh, Metal Sound is going to miss it and I'm going to miss the Open Hunter Bomb. This busy is to remain in the turn and take out this Fear right here. He does fly up, which is annoying, it's just a bit of a waste of time, and there's a bit of a parody effect here, whenever he lands, uh, he does actually get paralyzed, which is a weird thing. I do go for the reflect, so don't want to damage him, because I can't, just in case he gets four picks in a row, which is something stupid. Uh, you may as well just play the best the whole way through. Uh, reflect is put up, it's sort of a sign of respect as well, if you're still believing your opponent can potentially win, it's so unlikely, but they could. Uh, he gets paralyzed there, doesn't get the fly off, and that's it, basically. Over, he's paralyzed, and the Sajam is going to take him out in the next turn. And then I'm going to take a break, folks. I'm going to play all these videos, and I'm going to play all about four battles in this one video and get it uploaded and get it done. And uh, that'll be that. And then tomorrow we will go back to our normal schedule. I will be at Laser Quest tomorrow, so you can expect tomorrow's videos to be late at night. Um, or, yeah, they'll be quite late at night, so I will record them. So I will play the battles tonight, and I will record them tomorrow as well. So that's that one done. We're gonna go straight into the next three, which are relatively short and relatively frustrating. We are against me, Termi. Uh, he sends out his uh, his uh, Delphox and his uh, Charizard out here. I send out my two Steel types. Oh dear. Immediately have to swap right away into my uh, Talonflame with to uh, absorb any fire attacks that may come out. I'm predicting the Charizard Y, which is of course what happens. And the Delphox and the Charizard Y now have uh, two fire attacks in the Sun type. Uh, I basically got countered at the very start with that double scale opening right there. It was uh, one of the best counters you could get against it because of the sunlight and the fact that the two fire types right there. 
I did put up the light screens. I didn't know there were going to be two special attackers here. So the light screen does go in. Flare right here, the Charizard Y is going to go ahead with the flamethrower, which is going to take that in one shot. So easy right here. And uh, it's Pep Key, gone, done. Light screen did come off though, so it's at least they got something out of it. Fire Blast is the one with the Alphog with them. Light screen is going to absorb some of that damage. The talented Spark Hunter will absorb the rest of it. And that will allow my talent him just to quite like, survive right there. Over half health. And the carry does come out once again. Another steel type. I have three steel types this game. It's not gonna go well. The carry goes straight into Mega Evolution right here, and I think I go for the Flash Cannon onto uh, Delphox. Oh no, I go for the Protect just to make sure because the speed stat won't come in this turn, so I just do the Protect immediately. I'm trying to be any form of abilities that'll be used on me. Uh, Briarbird is gonna go right ahead on the Charizard right here. What I choose on here. I should have done Flash Cannon onto, or I should have done either Flash Cannon or Aura Sphere on a Delphox, however, it's, they, they both, a Delphox is both off them. Delphox then goes for the Psychic onto Talon Flame. If I hadn't done that, Lucario would have got free damage, or I could have nasty caught it. That turn, I could have nasty caught it. That, that's the annoying thing about this. So, um, he sends in his Alexam right here. We have a Psychic and a go and a Fire type and a Psychic type. He goes for Psychic on Lucario. Lucario is going to go straight to the 33 hit point there. I just go for the Aura Sphere to do as much damage as I possibly can. Here on Delphox, it's not very effective because it is that part Psychic type. I do get the... He does go for the Fire Blast onto the uh, Pyro, I believe this is. Oh, he hits a uh, Aegis Hatch. It takes it quite well, actually, considering it's in the sun. I know the light screen's out, but that's what saved me. And that's in that turn right there. Go ahead, right in the, uh, the Shadow Claw on Alakazam. Slash, dead. No defenses, no melee defenses. Aegis Hatch is going to take that out. He's going to go for nice and easily. He then brings back, oh let's see, he's gonna go with the land over here. You know, it is relatively close. I did decently, considering the severe disadvantage that I had. However, he does bring out his dust buff, and that is going to be the end of me. So if it wasn't the dust buff, I would have won this, but yeah, what can you really do? Flash cannon goes off, and just I'm trying to do as much damage as thing as I can. I can't because it's so defensive. It's like he's gonna go off against uh, Lucario. I did just go for an attack on my Aegis Slash, because I predicted him to predict that I was gonna just use King Shield. I go for the Shadow Claw, trying to take out Del uh, Delphox, which I managed to do. And, well, the Dust Buff is going to manage to take me out with that Nightshade right there. It was a close game. It was a lot closer than I thought it was, actually. I was mean, just watching it back again. I, 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 I assumed I got stomped that game. It was, it was just a quick match from both sides. Um, I got countered hard with the double steel, or the triple steel type of my team, which I, I learned. I learned. So, my next one is Ura, and um, also known as IRA, for those of you in Ireland might get that bloody joke. So, here we go. I go ahead with the Tower and Fatki, my two Steel types once again, and he brings out his Charizard and his Gengar. Either of these could have been Mega, I had no idea which one was which right here. So, I go right ahead into my Mega with my Lucario. Uh, And I go ahead with the Metal Sonic Strip on a Charizard here with the intention of focusing it down completely with the minus two special defense. Uh, my Lucario will be able to do some damage, mainly because of the fact that it is, uh, it is fire and uh, dragon, so I'm flying, sorry. So both of my abilities are very weak against Charizard. Uh, the red card is going to force my Gengar into his Empoleon right there. Uh, my, his Charizard is going to go for the Bane Thor. This hurts. This hurts real bad. So I get taken down there instantly. The Metal Sign defense uh, uh, basically goes to waste here because there's nothing I can do about it. Talonflame is going to come out. Something I think I should open with more whenever I see a Charizard in their team. Especially whenever most people are players to open with it. Talonflame goes right ahead and Charizard are taking it in one shot. Talonflame seems to be able to take out Charizard in one shot. Okay, we're going to burn relatively easily right there. So I get hit by the recall. I go for the Thunder Wave to only employ on there just to do anything I can to try and delay this thing because it is obviously a water type. And I have a fire type on the field right here. He does go for the Brian. And he does use it on Talonflame, which does a bit of damage. <laughs> you have to kill it, evidently. Talonflame does go down right here. Not much I can do about that, but it was worth it. It was an exchange for the Charizard. I'm going to send out these are my last two Pokemon on the field right now. He then comes out with his Agron. This is the part of the battle that's gets very frustrating. Because I only have I only have these two Pokemon left. So the first thing I did is set up the Reflex. I know, hey, I got the physical sweeper. He then doesn't go into his Mega. He goes for a power up punch straight onto Becky right here. So what I should have done was I should have spored this Alakazam or the Agron right here. I still like Giga it. Just to try and do a bit of damage here. He goes for the ice cream straight onto my Amoon because I shoot a ton of damage and then he hurts there. And um, so Amoon gets us to under half health. Then KO range right there. 
So then he goes into Mega. I could have put this to sleep. I could have put him to sleep and get Gadrian the Empoleon next turn because it was paralyzed. I would, I'd be faster on it and I would have been able to withstand this a bit more. Metal Sun, I think it was straight on an Agamemnon that doesn't do as much damage as I possibly can, or as much lower its defense as much as I possibly can, so I know it's going to be resistant to all my abilities. Iron Tail is going to come off on the Craft Key for some reason. Uh, Craft Key does manage to survive with hit points, but it's meant to fall on the mana since I'm no hit points. I don't think it can deal with the minus two. That thing went ma on minus two special attack and it didn't die. Like, that's so much special defense. I know it's, I know it's um, resisting it, but with minus two, I thought it was like something. I think it's going to come off my Amoongus. It's going to be like, basically survive with like a black sludge up, and I get frozen. Frozen! I was so, I was so frustrated with this. I can't believe this froze me. I believe I could have won it. I, I really do. I believe I could have won this game if I did not get frozen. I go over the Thunder Wave, hoping to get the double power hacks. The Agron uh, go, goes for rest, which is an, an interesting move. And um, I'm just dying for the power, for the freeze to break off the power lights to come off here. So the Amoongus is frozen. I mean, I can do it. I'm trying to Giga Drain. I'm trying to Giga Drain. And he does get the power hacks, so I, I'm still in this game because the Agron has to save for at least this turn, and he's the only people who want to have left. So, I go for the Metal Sign just to do as much damage as I can in terms of uh, stat-wise, so I bring the special defense way down there, which is going to be more than enough to try and heal me whenever I get a Giga Drain off. However, I'm still frozen. Yes, indeed. So I'm frozen and he gets paralyzed. I get the power hacks again, which is kind of cool. And uh, I'm just dying for this freeze to uh, on the here, because I can't put Agron to sleep. Um, I missed the Metal Sign on Agron though. I can't put him, I can't paralyze him, just punish him to go first. He does go ahead and put the sleep talk right there, and he does use the iron deal on cleft key. So I do get, I get quite lucky with that. I realize this is my last turn. Like I, I haven't got any other choice here. I got on still minus two, and the movie should get fully healed here. But he gets frozen again. I can't do anything this entire match. And the Brian is going to come off and just completely take me out. I uh, think the frozen cost of the game right there. That was annoying. I wouldn't have won it anyway because of the tower, I don't think, but I think it would have come out a lot better than that. That was very frustrating. And what you're about to see is the most frustrating match I've played in a while. Point where I wanted to fucking quit this game, and I did curse right there. Four legendary uh, abuser, folks. Um, not only four legendaries, four legendaries that are EV and properly built. This guy comes on and takes out people with these bloody legendaries. Just check this out. Dark Island and Kelly will come right out here with, uh, opening up with Kyra on the left gate. Um, I know what's going to happen here. I've got nothing that's going to resist it, so... I go ahead straight in the Mega Form. I'm going for uh, our Aura Sphere onto Dark Ride. And the first thing I do is Metal Sound or Dark Ride just to guarantee the kill on that right there. Oh, sorry, I don't know. That's a stupid move. Aura Sphere would kill it. I Thunder Wave Keldy. What's a better move to make? I Aura Sphere this Dark Ride. What's the first thing that happens? He goes for a Secret Sword. Good. Dead. Keldeo was much faster than uh, Lucario, it takes out one shot. I thought my Mega Lucario would be faster, but evidently not. Dark Void is going to come off and put Clefty straight to sleep. And you basically know what's going to happen to the rest of the time. It's going to be 6 bound, and there's nothing I can do about it, because Dark Ride is faster. Um, I believe this Dark Ride is Choice Scar, from what I remember, so it always goes first. Um, I try and score it, I'm trying to do everything I have in the Dark Warrior. I know the Amoongus is faster, and the Dark Void has 100% accuracy, so Dark Void is going to put Amoongus to sleep as well. And this is just what happens for the whole match. I, Dark Void just kills me, I can't, like, whenever I win the free battles, if I, my team needs to dart a Dark Void, there is nothing I can do about it. It's faster than everything I have, and it will just put everything to sleep first at 100% accuracy every time, nothing I can do about it, so... I really can't wait to get back into rank because I really get playing against the stuff. This is the first time I played last night. He said I palkied it. Yeah, go figure. Uh, I'm sleeping. Nothing I can do about it. Probably just gonna damage both my Pokemon right there. Almost enough to kill Clef Key. Fast asleep. Not even gonna wake up and not turn to get any defensive abilities off for Moongus for the sake of it. Dream Eater's gonna go. Oh, Shark I was not trying to start actually. Um, Dream Eater comes off. Rex, uh, Palkia, Earth Power is come off against Clefki right there, Cracked him. Would have racked him anyway right there. I'm not even sure if these Pokemon were EV actually when I watched this fight. As you can tell, I'm very prepared. I was dreading showing this match. I didn't want to show it because it's so stupid. But yeah. Badrim is going to deal me even more damage right there. Not much, there's literally nothing I can do about it. So Talon Team comes out. I do go for the Priority Braveheart, which is the only thing I could have done here. I probably should have opened with Talon Team. Uh, just 
But I know the Brave Bird does actually one shot Dark Ride. So if I hadn't opened this match with the Talent Ring, if I see a Dark Ride or a Charizard now, I open with the uh, Talent Ring again. Just so I uh, don't have it. Just so I can potentially deal with it. So yes, the um, Bam Bam does fall right there, which is a shame. And I'm going to just toss it out. But I didn't get the Dark Ride with the book. I could have done that the first turn actually, and then he's in his carry end. Yeah, this is, this is just completely over. Every Pokemon he had was legendary, and the one that wasn't shown, I believe, was Mewtwo. So there was no chance. That's it, GG. Alright, folks, I'm not going to be loads of next time. Too I have to get a shower. I'm so packed for time right now, it's unbelievable. I have no time for anything at the moment. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that 15 minute long video there for you. I'm sorry about yesterday once again, however. We should get back in track from Saturday onwards. Tomorrow I'm out to Laser Quest with my um, friends down there in uh, my work. And I'm at my friend's house tomorrow night as well. So I won't be back until... I may not even be home tomorrow night. So what I might do is tonight, I might record four battles and then cast them on Saturday. And then give you an extra two on Saturday. I think that'll be the most likely way to look at this. So, alright folks, I shall see you very soon. Sorry for the mood this game, that was just annoying folks. So I will see you later. Bye!